Dello Heavy Duty Engine Oils. Proven engine protection at prices you can rely on, giving you even more reasons to choose Dello. Today we're here to talk about your oil cleanliness, but we're not talking about the oil cleanliness in the engine, we're talking about the cleanliness of the oil straight out of the jug. And it turns out it's not as clean as you think. Here to help us today is Gene and Chad, who are gonna tell us about the IsoClean program. So Chad, I'll start with you. Can you give us at a high level just an overview of what the Chevron IsoClean program is and how it benefits customers. Yeah, absolutely. So again, thanks for, for having us, Brian. So this is a program that Chevron's had in existence for roughly about 10 years. And what it is, is we have the ability to, to filter oil and deliver it to customers pre-filtered. So I know a lot of your customers may try to filter on their own to get some cleaner oil going into their equipment. What Chevron is able to do is through our network of distributors that we have, they're certified to deliver IsoClean products. They do the filtration, they deliver it clean and filtered to the customer with a certificate showing Chevron certifies that this oil has been filtered to this cleanliness level that you, you've asked for, that the OEM recommends and, and brings it uh, to the customer. You know, for as far as what the benefits are, it's really, it's the bottom line. It's helping keep their equipment running longer, which is ultimately gonna have a positive impact on the financial part of their company. They're gonna be able to keep the doors open. So that's really the big piece is longer life on the equipment, increased reliability. That's the benefit to the customer. And again, it, when you start doing all the math and it, it comes down to dollars and cents and the profitability of the customer. So I'm going to add a little bit to that, Brian. What it is, is it's filtering brand new oil. The oil that you get, I don't care whose oil it is, when you get it in, it's not that clean. It just isn't. So we filter brand new oil before we bring it to the customer so that they can start clean. That's what IsoClean does. But there is a whole bunch in front of that yes. that has to happen before you bring clean oil. Because if you've got dirty five-gallon pails or if you've got dirty buckets, or your tank's all bad, okay, none of this other stuff even works. There's a bunch of stuff we have to do on the front end first. So here's the deal, gentlemen. I knew that you were going to come in and you were going to tell me that oil out of the jug isn't clean enough. So I have prepared questions for you guys that I'm just going to rapid fire throw at you as a contractor who is skeptical that oil out of the jug is not clean. All right, Gene, here you go. My first question, I operate in a dirty environment already. I'm a dirt contractor. So cleanly does, doesn't matter. Go. That is untrue, Brian. You, you, you know, people come to me. I work in a dirty environment. They, they think they're the dirtiest, you know, they work in the dirtiest place and nobody else on God's green earth works on it. On, on dirt. dirt is everywhere. Dirt is the number one enemy. We have to keep dirt out. And you know what? It's the dirt you can't see. You cannot look at oil and tell if it's clean because it's the little particles that are around 10 microns that get in there and it's that size particle and you can't even see around 10 microns. We can only see the 40 microns. So Brian, that is incorrect. Okay, Chad, your turn. And Gene kind of stole your thunder, but I want you to follow up on it. I can't see any dirt in my oil. So how are you telling me it's dirty? It's gotta be clean. Yeah. If you can see stuff in your oil, you do have major problems. <laughs> but but the stuff we're talking <laughs> the stuff we're talking about today, as Gene said, it's not visible. So as he said, it's about ten microns. You hold it up, hey, it looks clean. No, it's not. The stuff that we're talking about is microscopic. Four, six, fourteen size or micron size particles. And so it's that small stuff that's doing the most damage because the clearances that are in the equipment, the stuff gets wedged in there, it's gonna cause wear. And so it's stuff you just cannot see. And so you can't focus on, hey, if it's if I can see it or if I can't see it, it must be clean. No, the stuff we're talking about, again, microscopic. So it's still doing a lot of damage. The stuff you can't see is doing the most damage to that equipment. Okay, Gene, next question. I take my funnels. I've got my blue shop towels. I wipe them out. How much dirt or particulate matter does it take to contaminate my oil? I've already wiped it out with the blue shop towel. Not very much. So I'm a grandpa. I feed these these grandkids. <clears throat> and you know those little rubber spoons? They don't hold very much dirt. You put that much dirt in a 55-gallon drum, you're killing the hydraulic system twice as fast. It doesn't take much dirt at all. 
But what happens, Brian, you leave that funnel out, that five gallon bucket out. Okay, you wipe it out with a rag. All you did is kind of smear stuff around. Okay, you're introducing way more than, than you even think, and it doesn't take much. Chad, next question. I'm buying this brand new from the factory. It's clean oil. How in the world can it be dirty? What's the condition I'm being sold right now? Well, we, we refer to it as typical. So what you're getting is typical oil. So whether you're getting from Chevron or another, another supplier, it's all coming out of the factory or the refinery about the same, but the blend plant all about the same level. And it's not being tested for cleanliness. It's just not part of the practice. And so when you think about the chain of custody, that oil goes through by the time it gets to your customers. So from the plant, to put maybe on a rail car or truck to take them to a distributor. Distributor pumps it off into their bulk tank and then they put it on a delivery truck. And time it gets there, it could be touched seven or eight times. And so every time it's touched, it's opening the window for airborne particles and or water, vapor, whatever it may be, to get into that oil. And so what you're getting initially is, is typical oil. And it's typical because it's not being clean and it's whatever, regardless again, of who you're buying it from, it's all going to be about the same cleanliness level. And it's not clean enough for the OEMs that uh, have set cleanliness standards on the lubricant. Okay, well, here's the deal. I have an ace up my sleeve, Chad. Gene, my equipment has an oil filter on it, sir. So you're telling me I have to clean my oil when I already have a oil cleaner on it. I oh, am. Yeah. That's exactly what I'm telling you. And the reason is, is because those oil filters, okay, they get the big part of this. To be honest, you know, the stuff you can see, most of those oil filters, they do a really, really good job. But the particles that are four and six microns in size, they just keep right on going through that filter medium. And they're the ones that do the real damage. Now, of course, if you've got big particles in there, they do catastrophic damage. What we're talking about is long-term wear, little bitty pieces of sandpaper that you can't see in there. And there's there's literally thousands. We, we, we do a test where we take a milliliter and the, the brand new oil of those little teeny particles might have 50,000 particles in a milliliter, which is only a few drops of oil. And so there's all these little pieces of sandpaper you can't see in there doing the damage. So your filter gets the big stuff. It has a hard time with the little stuff. Fair enough. Chad, next question. What are truly the benefits of a cleaner oil? My equipment is running just fine right now with the oil I've got. Where am I going to see the benefits of pre-filtering this oil? But before we get into that, I want to take a second to tell you about the sponsor of this video, Chevron Lubricants. These cranes work around the clock for months at a time. If one of these engines ever goes down, it costs more than our reputation. Switching to Dello 600 ADF, it's been a game changer. We've had no issues with clogged DPFs. I mean, no regen lights, no cleaning, no replacements, nothing. This oil goes beyond anything we've ever used. I choose proven protection that keeps our cranes on the job. I choose Dello 600 ADF. Where am I gonna see the benefits of pre-filtering this oil? So you're gonna get longer life, and that's the whole piece of this, is extending the life to the uh, OEMs, what they say is the full life of that equipment. So right now you may think, hey, I'm getting four years out of this pump. I'm changing this pump every four years, I'm, I'm good. Well, the pump really should be going, say, maybe 10, 12 years. So you're only getting half, maybe a third of the life. And so that's what this clean oil can do. It's all about keeping your equipment up and running and getting the maximum life out of that equipment. So that's the true benefit of, of using clean oil. I'm gonna add a little bit to that, Brian. The average is, is if, if we can get oil to the cleanliness that Caterpillar wants, on the average, that component lasts four times longer. Wow. We're talking transmission, we're talking final yeah. drives, we're talking hydraulics. Now the engines, you don't get that much, but you still get some. Yeah. You get 1.3, 1.8, two times, those sort of things. That's what we're talking about. All right. Now, technically following the rules of this game, it should be Chad's turn because Gene just <laughs> I know. Answered, I right. jumped in. Well, I'll That's jump funny. back in on, on what okay, fair said. enough. So it's, again, so as I mentioned earlier, it, then it comes back to dollars and cents. You know, if you keep that equipment running longer, if I don't have to buy a pump every four years, if I can buy a pump every 12 years, so there's cash, there's money that can be used for something else within your operation. And so that's what it comes down to is 
keeping the equipment running longer is going to help your bottom line, your profitability, be able to use resources in other areas that you need instead of focusing on replacing a pump or replacing a transmission, whatever it is, uh, much sooner than you should be. Fair enough. Chad, thank you for, for setting the game back in into the proper <laughs> space that it needs to be. <laughs> yeah, we're back to balance. So, Gene, <laughs> next yes. question. My equipment is old and whomped out. Why would I benefit from this clean oil? You know what? You're using that piece of equipment, so it must be making you money. So why not extend the life? You know, the stupid story I tell is, you know what? Grandma's old. She's in the nursing home. Let's just give her bad blood. You know, it's, <laughs> there's, it's not gonna, she's not going to last that much longer. And, and, and that's the same mentality. Like, really? I mean, you're running that piece of equipment because it's making you money. Why not make it last as long as you can? If the oil were cleaner, it would last longer, even with old equipment. So, Chad, next question. And we kind of touched on this when we were initially talking about the IsoClean program, but why would I go through all of this trouble to just put that oil into my bulk tanks that I've got in my shop that are probably dirty? Yeah, it's a great question. And it seems illogical to do that. And so we've done studies on this where we've taken old oil out, put clean, isoclean oil in. And after a series of deliveries, so maybe a third, a third, a third, a third, whatever, we eventually get, when we test that oil in the bulk tank, we get to say it's 18, 16, 13 or whatever, the specification you're looking for, we can get there. And so it's called passive tank cleaning. And so it's that concept of taking dirty out, put clean in, you keep doing that over a period of time, you're going to end up with clean oil in your tank. Now, break, break, breaking the rules again, oh, breaking the rules again. Here we go. <laughs> All right. Okay. I want to add something to that is that that works if the tank is not breathing dirty air yes and is not bringing in moisture a drum well, you look at a drum okay and at the top of it's got a chime around it you know a rim around it and that's a three quarter inch swimming pool the water it gets rain okay they say well it's got a seal that seal keeps out driftwood and that's it it doesn't keep out anything else those those threads they're not pipe threads okay they'll breathe and so they'll, then that water's sitting there, it'll get warm, the vapors go out, it gets cold, the, you know, it pulls the water in. And so we suggest that you tilt that, put those bungs at three o'clock and nine o'clock so that water runs off there. Get rid of that dirty old nasty can. Get a sealed container, one that has a color on it. You know, engine oil's a color, hydraulic oil's a color. Differential, you know, final drive is a color. Those, those But I still get to use my universal... My universal funnel, right? <laughs> no. Get rid of your universal funnel as well, you know. The best can drop cans that I like, they actually have a spout on it, so you don't need a funnel. So there's a lot of things that you have to do. The tank, if you do have bulk tank, you, you, you can't breathe shop air. you got to get that humidity and that dirt out of there. So there's a lot of things that can be done at the front end and then the IsoClean, which is the next level to the OEM cleanliness level, pre-filtered. That can come later, but without doing all that stuff at the beginning, doesn't work at the end. Okay, so now I have because Gene keeps jumping in. I've lost track of who's <laughs> supposed to answer. So this I'm one, next. I guess, is, I'm next. I'm next. Go. It's Gene. My last ape, a ace up my sleeve that I've got for you is. Well, guess what, Gene? I already pre-filter my oil with my own little on-site filters. Why do I need IsoClean? Well, you might be doing it wrong, Brian. Here's the deal is that we have a recipe for every oil. Like if you're doing hydraulic oil, you need to have a different recipe. What do I mean by recipe? That means micron size. That means beta, which is efficiency. That means what temperature you filtered at. You don't temperature, you don't filter this stuff at room temperature. And then how many times you filter it. So you actually might be harming the oil. Okay. If you say, you know what? I want to filter the heck out of this oil. I'm going to put a two micron filter on there. Okay. That's all fine and good. But you may be pulling a lot of stuff. The anti-foam is one of the first thing that comes out. But you may be harming the oil if you don't know what you're doing. And we've spent a bunch of time. We don't filter every one of our oils. Yep. Not every one of our oils is, is, is in this program, okay? We, we have to be able to test it so that we, you know, we don't harm it when we filter it. And there's a recipe for that. Fair enough. Well, my final question for you, Chad, and, and this is a point I think we do need to clarify. Who really qualifies for the ISO Clean program? Are we talking, this is something I can do at the jug level, 
or is this something where we're talking larger contractors that have a shop that are dealing in bulk tank situations? Yeah, so the IsoClean program, we do it in bulk or, or 330 gallon totes. So we don't uh, package it right now in drums or pails. And, and there's a there's reason, I think we've touched on it earlier, when you come to the packaging process, keeping those airborne particles out of the drums, you know, again, drums can breathe. There's nooks and crannies, stuff can get in those drums. Same thing with a pail or, or a jug or whatever it may be. You've got a lot of plastic stuff in there that from the blow molding when they create those. So it's really difficult to try to maintain that cleanliness level in those smaller packages. And so therefore we, we keep it in bulk tanks or, or 30, 330 gallon totes as well. And so, you know, what we have, we have a network of distributors and they can come to your location. They can pump off. Um, if you've got a smaller, say a bulk tank, or if you into your sump, whatever, we can do that. They are trained and know how to do that to pump in directly into your equipment. So don't think that limits you to, oh, I can't do IsoClean because I don't have a big tank farm or, or uh, you know, I typically get it in smaller packages. You know, work with our, our network of distributors we have through North America and they can get the solution to you and figure out how they can deliver that IsoClean product to you. Well, Chad, Gene, thank you guys for being on. I learned a lot today. Thank you for educating us on the IsoClean program. I appreciate it. All right. Thank you. Well, thank you again for Chad and Gene coming on the show to share their knowledge on the cleanliness of already what we consider clean oil. As you can see, it's not nearly as clean as you think it is coming straight out of the factory. And there are some real benefits to further filtering that oil before it goes into your very, very expensive equipment. As always, I hope this helps you in your business. We'll catch you on the next episode of The Dirt.